Hello there, fellow Truckton friends. Thank you, Maria. New independent truck door designer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Isn't that funny? I'm a crazy person. Um, just give me one second and I'm gonna be right up. I'm trying one new fancy thing. It's not gonna work. I don't think. Nope, it's not gonna work. All right, I'm giving up. Hey everybody, welcome. Sunday night chalking. Hey Cheryl, welcome to our chalking party. We're doing a fun little project tonight. Quick and easy. Oh, and we're gonna play games. We're gonna play games. <laughs> okay, what did I do with our cards? We're gonna play games. I need to play some Family Feud. We didn't play Family Feud yet this week. And I have been missing us some Family Feud. I just have to figure out where the heck I put the game cards. So we're going to make a quick little project because graduations are coming. It's time to start getting prepared for those graduations, right? All those crazy kids are uh, getting ready to go out into the brave new world, right? So we got to... Get ready for graduations. Hey Cheryl, hey Terry, hey Jill. Welcome to our talking party. We're making a quick little sign. We're gonna talk a little bit about graduation options because graduation is a common. And uh, we've got some good options for things we can make. And we're gonna play some Family Feud. Right, we should play some Family Feud. Cause I like to play the games. Like, playing the games is more fun than anything, right? Okay, not more than fun than anything. There is nothing that is more fun than talking. I'm telling you. But Playing the games is fun, too. Oh, look, I'm live. <laughs> my phone is telling me I'm live. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to share my live into other groups. That's what I keep trying to do, which is why you keep seeing the, the sign, the beginning sign, for as long as you do. Someday, I'm going to figure it out. So, let's get you. Well, let's just start out with the basics. Hi, I'm Megan Maria, your independent truck couture designer. Thank you for joining me. If you're watching my replay or you are watching me live, you can tell the difference because if you're watching me live, there's this cute little red button in the left-hand corner that says live. <laughs> if you don't have that little button, you're watching my replay. So thank you for watching my replay. Um, please hit that share button because hitting that share button helps me tremendously. So thank you, thank you for sharing my video. Plus, we are gonna play some really fun games tonight and we're gonna give away some really cool prizes. So you want all your friends to join the fun too, right? So you gotta hit share now so that they can join in the game fun too. So we are going to play, hey Aunt Josephine from California, eh? We're gonna play a couple games, we're gonna make a cute sign and uh, have some fun. Happy Mother's Day to you as well, Aunt Josephine. I saw you got some absolutely gorgeous roses. Holy cow, Aunt Josephine, those were beautiful. Holy cow. All right, so I have two transfers out that are truly specifically for, I would say, graduation. Although this hip hip hooray, I think, oh my gosh, anything celebratory, right? You hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. <laughs> it does have congrats. Which I also, I mean, baby showers, um, graduations, new jobs, new houses, I just, birthdays, hip hip hooray, I just think this hip hip hooray one is extremely versatile, way beyond just graduations. Um, it does have high five, it has grad, the cap, and the diploma. These, obviously, this side is specifically graduation focused, but I do think that, um, this particular transfer has a lot of life beyond just a graduation. So that's that one. This one is actually on the last chance list. So this one will be gone soon. And this one says the tassel was worth the hassle. It has class of and then you can make your year. This is a very nice transfer because it has doohickeys. <laughs> Carol, are you here tonight? Carol, we got doohickeys tonight. Um, it has numbers, little numbers. So this piece of this transfer is extremely valuable as far as using it to create other things. So again, has some use beyond just a graduation. And then this is a, little, a, a cap. So these are the two 
that I would tell you are very graduation specific. There is another one, however, that I realized as I was walking in here that I think, um, and I know for a fact, is super popular, also on the last chance, but I don't think it's going anywhere super fast. And I have a, I wouldn't say a ton, but I think I have like three of these. So if you want this one, this one is called Be Brilliant. It's a three piece transfer. It's actually bigger. I made it on a smaller board. Um, and I'm gonna, st I would stain this bottom part black or gray, probably gray. Um, so it doesn't exactly fit on this particular board, but I like this board because you know it's, it stands all by itself in a little space. Um, but I think this is a really nice one to send off to anybody that is doing a new adventure. Because, you know, go out there and be brilliant, right? This one I will be making for my son's dorm room, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> He's taking this one to college with him. Um, and I had people make this last year for kids that graduated. Because I'm reaching the point where I've been doing this for almost a year now. Now my transfers are starting to come around. Um, but this is another really nice one. This is a B size transfer. So this is only a $14.99 transfer. These two are C size transfers. So they are $24.99. So they are bigger, a um, little more versatility. Be brilliant. You're kind of, I mean, it does have the really nice burst. But beyond the making it the way it's made to be, I, there's not a lot of creativity with this one as far as um, doing other things with it. So this is a very nice graduation present. These other two are also very nice graduation presents. And that is what we are focusing on this evening is some fun, fun graduations. But happy Mother's Day to us all. We should play a game, right? We should play a game. Because I, I like the, playing the games and having the fun is my Sunday night fun, right? So are you all ready? I see y'all. You, you are here. So we're ready to play. So we are going to play Family Feud. So for those of you who are new to our Family Feud game, this is basically like the game Family Feud. I ask you a question. Uh, this is our example. I read a question, and I, I read the question to you, and you put your answer up. And how this works is it all depends on your high-speed internet speed, Facebook, all. so we don't see things at the same time. So what I do is I don't look at my comments, and I look up, and the first person that has an answer that's on my card wins the prize. That's how this works. So if you can send our video out into that world by hitting that fun little button that starts with an S <laughs> that says share on it potentially, our friends can play too because this is just fun. Because why not play a fun game? It's a Sunday night, right? What else you got to do? Um, so how it works, I read the question, you type your answers. So... You might want to type your answer more than once because it all depends on when I look up as to whose answer I see. So it is a little bit about timing and there's a huge, not a huge, but there is a delay. Things I say, you don't see when I say them. There, it's not live live. There's a delay. So keep typing is the moral to the story. You ready? Okay. Well, this is our example question. Example only. Name something that a family takes turns using. So answers would be bathroom, car, phone, computer, TV, remote, and soap. Okay, so you could have any one of those answers. And if I looked up and I, like, let's say, let's say Terry, you said phone. Which is really a thing of the past, right? Everybody, kids all have their own phones now. But whatever. If, if, I, if Terry wrote phone and I looked up and I saw Terry, Terry would win because her answer is on the card. And then I mail you out your fun little mystery prize which is always fun okay you ready that's a lot of explaining and josephine you ready <laughs> and josephine you're feeling lucky tonight because it's mother's day right right we're all feeling lucky okay so i do try to make sure that the questions are somewhat appropriate don't like that one <laughs> i will chalk eventually don't worry oh this is a fun one okay Ready? Oh, and I gotta learn not to, you guys can't see it. Okay. Name a reason grandma might take out her false teeth. Name a reason grandma might take out her false teeth. And now I, I move all my comments away so I can't see comments. 
So all my comments are gone. And while you guys are answering, thinking of your fantastic reason that grandma might take out her false teeth, because boy, my imagination can come up with some really fun reasons why grandma should take out her false teeth. Um, I'm gonna get our transfer ready. And again, my name is Nikki Maria. I'm an independent Chuck Couture designer. We are using Chuck Couture products to make amazing one of a piece type signs that you make originally all by yourself. So, um, Chuck Couture is a silk screen adhesive transfer that you can use over and over again. It is reusable. So I'm gonna cut out our transfer here. I'm going to type or write on the back of the, my transfer the name of it. Hip hip hooray. So your transfer has cut lines in it so that you can know where to cut it apart. And then on the back, you just write the name of the transfer because your transfer backer is what you put your transfer back on after you've cleaned it. And that's what how you keep it so that you can keep using it. But there are two different sides to the backer. One is shiny and sticky, and uh, or one is glossy. So see, one is super glossy and one is dull. You do not want to put it on the dull side because that's like putting it on paper. Okay, so before I keep going, I'm going to go back to comments now. Ready? And I'm going to look and see. So the question was, what reason would grandma take out her false teeth? Oh, I need the card. What is the... Okay, and... Jill says, go to bed. Oh, that's, that's a different question. Where did it? <laughs> Jill says, go to bed. Where did the... Okay, seriously, where did I put the card? I tried to put it away from you so that you couldn't see the answer. <laughs> that's the Elvis one. I didn't like the Elvis question. Oh, here it is. Duh. To go to sleep. Jill. Ding, 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 ding. Jill, you won last time we played the game too. Jill is our big winner. So Jill is our first winner. We're going to play this again. Don't worry. So, so the answers were to go clean them, to go to sleep, to eat or drink, or they hurt. And ooh, look at you guys. Sleep, 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 sleep. Everybody wanted to go to bed. Everybody must be tired. Every hey Linda, welcome to our talking party. Everybody wanted to go to bed today. <laughs> All right, so Jill, you are a big winner. Don't worry, we're gonna play again. So I wrote the back of my transfer name on back. Oh, and for the record, because you know we are here to chalk, right? I'm really just gonna do the hip hip hooray tonight because this is again one of those transfers that is super versatile. You can do so many different things with this transfer. So. So Jill, I'll probably deliver yours again, like I did last time. Um, I just gotta figure out when I'm gonna be out by you. So I take my transfer off of the backer, and you will notice as soon as you take it off that it's sticky and there is a silk screen in it. And that silk screen is what gives us the beautifulness of Chuck Couture. Okay, so I take my transfer and I put it on something fuzzy, something that has lint. It can be a towel, can be a um, bathrobe. <laughs> My bathrobe is sitting here next to me. Um, your blue jeans, your t-shirt, anything that has lint to it. And what that does is the stickiness picks up some of that lint and it makes it not quite as sticky. So your transfer does not have to work as hard to um, come off of your surface. So you have less likelihood of stretching your transfer because your transfer is made out of fabric. Okay, so I'm putting my transfer on my board and I am lining it up. I am an eyeballer. I am not a measurer. So I'm going to put my transfer down in an attempt to line it up. And then what you do is you rub out your air. Because if you have an air bubble, you will get a bleed. Because if you have an air bubble, when you go to squeegee your chalk paste over your transfer, the air will push the chalk underneath your transfer. Okay. So for those of you who are not local and you want to play the game, I do mail out your prizes. Um, so don't worry if you're not local. You can still play and you can still win. So this particular, let's get rid of this so you can see. You guys seem really far. There we go. 
Um, I was going to, I think we should ombre this. So for those of you, again, who are new, you have lots of choices when it comes to how you choose to create your project. Um, you can do it. We could do a different color in every letter. We could do each word a different color. Um, we could do a technique that's called hot mess where you just kind of dot colors all over and you kind of hot mess them together. They kind of swirl together. It looks super cool effect. And we can do ombre where you start lighter and go darker. Um, for this particular sign, because my... Hey, Verge! Welcome to our chuck and party. We're playing games tonight, Verge, for Mother's Day just for fun. Um, my son is graduating and the school colors are blue and red. And I have never ombre such drastic colors together, but we're gonna try it tonight because then I could use this for his graduation. So I was thinking, and it's it's really navy blue, but navy blue does not show up as well on the boards. So we're gonna go with Liberty Blue, which is super pretty, and red. But that's really gonna make purple in the middle. So I guess we really can't do that. So I either need to go all blue or all red. Oh, you know what we can do? We could ombre, we could go red and blue. Do hip hip in one. Let's try that. What the heck? So what you need when you're gonna do a true ombre is you need a lighter and a darker, preferably in the same family tone of colors. Otherwise, I'm gonna make purple in the middle because you swirl the colors together. So, what do you guys think? Should we do like red and white? Because it's red, white, and blue are our school, his school's colors. And then blue and white? Then it could truly be, then I could even use it for Memorial Day. So I'm stirring up my chalk paste. So chalk paste is uh, a chalk couture product. Again, you cannot buy this anywhere else. And it is a, a liquid paste that you squeegee on to our transfers and it dries semi-permanent. So what I mean by that is this is chalk paste. It's dry and I'm rubbing hard. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's not like chalk, like your kid's chalk. It's chalk paste that dries hard. However, I could spray this with water and wash this off if I chose to. But, you know, it's not, it's not gonna go anywhere is the moral to the story. Um, you can, however, choose to have it go somewhere if you want to. If you don't want it to go anywhere and you actually are worried about it being someplace that there might be water, you can seal it with a spray polycrylic or spray sealant. Um, you don't have to do that though, again, because it's not going anywhere. So this sign, I bet you this sign is eight or nine months old and I take this sign everywhere because it's really tiny, it's easy to transport. I take this to a lot of classes, um, as you can tell. I mean, he's he's been well loved. He's got a few dings in him, but um, he's had a lot of usage and he's doing just fine. So chalk paste really is semi-permanent. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do white and red and blue and red. And thank you for sharing, Verge, because we're playing games. We want our, fun, our friend, fun friends to play too. So you ready for another, should play another round? You ready, Gert, ladies? Okay, so this is how it works. I read a question, you answer it. I look up and whoever has the right answer that I see wins. There is a delay. So it doesn't mean we don't see the same things. Okay, you ready? Ooh. Nah. Too easy. They got to We need a hard one, right? Oh, this is a good one. Name something a policeman might be nervous doing the first time he does it. Name something a policeman might be nervous doing the first time he does it. And I'm just going to get our chalk paste ready because I don't want to be chalking and looking at questions. So I'm, I'm getting rid of my comments so that I can't see them. And in a moment, I will turn my comments back on and then I'll be able to see. And while you're, you guys are answering our question, I am stirring up our chalk paste and making sure that it is a yogurt, sour cream type consistency because then it works really well. So I, there is a delay, which is why I tend to stall in my looking up answers. Okay, so Jill's our first winner. Here's our questions. Okay, you ready? I'm going to turn my comments back on. Here we go. Name something a policeman might be nervous doing the first time he does it. 
Cheryl says a pat down. <laughs> Mm -mm. A pat down is not, not on the list, Cheryl. Not really. Okay. So, oh, her not other answer is arresting someone, which is right above that. Yes, Cheryl. That is ding, 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 ding. Cheryl wins. <laughs> Cheryl, you win every single time. <laughs> I love it when Cheryl wins because she's really easy to deliver to. Okay. So Cheryl, Cheryl wins. She is our second winner. And I bet, oh, I, we need to go back to, I need to start saying the last names. I'm sorry, we had that problem last time we played the game. Cheryl Leepak won. So here's your answers. The number one answer was pull or shoot his gun. Number two was arrest someone. Three was write a ticket. Four was stop a suspect. Five was chase someone. And six was walk the beat. So Cheryl got arrest someone. Let's see what else. Ooh, Cheryl. Cheryl, you were a ferocious typer there. Holy cow. What? Cheryl? Cheryl was the only one that answered the question. <laughs> Not that that's bad, Cheryl. Where, what, what the heck, people? Cheryl, you don't have to feel bad winning again. That's the fun. <laughs> it's fun to win again. All right, so now we're going to chalk. So I'm going to start with my white, and I'm going to Put my white at the top of each letter, okay? I'm just gonna put a little white. I don't want to use a ton of color or paste. I'm sorry, because actually I'm gonna have to go pretty far, aren't I? Because I gotta do my. I'm not gonna. Yeah, because I'm not gonna ombre till we get down here. Ombre is not gonna work with this technique. We're gonna have to do separate colors because. There's too much space in between them to try to pull all that paste down too. So we're doing white, white, red, white, blue. Those are his school colors. Okay, so white, red, white, blue. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do this fast. You don't have to sit that out, Jill. Okay, so I'm gonna do this fast because my paste is going to dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all my paste down. Okay. And then I'm going to squeegee it all off at once. I'm going to use three squeegees and just take it off. That way, because paste does dry quickly, I don't have to worry about it drying fast. So I'm taking my white and I'm just squeegeeing down. Now I hold my squeegee straight up and down. I do not hold my squeegee flat. By holding it straight up and down, I uh, get a really nice clean chalk and I get all my excess right off in one fell swoop. Okay? So I, if I have any lines, I want to get the lines off because you will see them if you don't get them off. Now I'm going to do red. Get my red back. And you just take your excess and you put it right back in your container. Okay, my red is super runny. That's not uncommon with certain colors that they end up being super runny. I don't have enough paste on this one. Okay, so I'm just, again squeegeeing my colors straight down through my silk screen. Take all my excess, I put it right back in my container. Now it's time for me to peel and reveal. And when I peel and reveal, I start it in the corner. Okay, I start it in the corner. But I don't pull from the corner because I don't want to pull it diagonally. I want to pull it straight down. Um, because if I pull it diagonally, I risk stretching my transfer and I don't want to stretch my transfer. So I just pull it, and I pull straight up and down, okay? I don't pull flat. If I pull it flat, it, it just, my transfer curls up, and that annoys me. <laughs> if you pull it straight up and down, you don't have it. Ooh, this is cute in these colors. I'm kind of glad we didn't ombre it. So I just take my transfer then, and I have a water bath right here. It's just a pail of water, I know, like a dish pan that has water in it, and I just put my... Uh, transfer right in there and then I wash it with water and I put it back on its backer and it's good for the next uh, project. So this is our cute little hip hip array. Now it's not dry because you can see, see how shiny it is? That shiny goes away when it dries. So while it's drying, let's play one more. We'll play one more round. Okay, you ready? Everybody ready? Dun dun dun! Get your fingers ready. 
Oh, this is good for you Texas ladies. <laughs> this should be something that should be top of mind for all. anybody that lives in a tornado belt. Ready? Name something people take with them to the basement when a tornado is coming. Name something people take with them to the basement when a tornado is coming. Okay, so what I do now, I start my cleanup. And I take my transfers, or my squeegees, and I wipe them down. I just wipe my paste off of them, see, and they all, all clean, and then you use them again. You do not need multiple squeegees. I, I'm going to turn my commas off so I don't see them. I happen to own multiple squeegees, but you one works. You just, in between colors, you wash off your squeegee. And you just wipe it off. You don't, and you can use a towel. I choose to use baby wipes. So that's what I use. Um, but you don't have to. You can just use a towel. You can use a wet paper towel. You can do anything. Okay, so I'm just wiping off my squeegee. And then I take my little stir sticks and I do the same exact thing. I take my paste. I go around the edges to get all that paste back in there okay and I take my little stir stick because you can reuse them and put them right back in and then I just cover up my paste okay the question is oh I got turn no I'm not gonna turn my comments in yet name something people take with them to the basement when a tornado is coming okay ready I turn my comments back on Lori Rogan, Rohan, Rogahan says pets. Ooh, Lori, that's a good answer and it's not on there. I would have thought pets would be on there too. Okay, so Linda, 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 my friend Linda from Michaels who's retired. Linda says valuables. Hi, <laughs> it's not on there, Linda. Valuables is not an answer, although I would argue that all of the answers are valuables. <laughs> good night. We're playing again. I love you. Love you. Sleep good. Okay. Who is next? Virginia says clean them. Clean them. Virginia, we don't take clean them to the basement with us in a tornado, so I'm not sure what clean them is. Oh, hey, Sandy. Sandy says radio. Ding, 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 ding. Sandy, you won. That's right. Radio is a big winner. So Sandy one, the answer is radio. So here's the answers. Food, water, flashlight, radio, and children. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, somebody, some of you had children. Okay, so Jill said pets, pets. Virginia, you gotta explain the clean them. I'm not sure, because Ver Verge, you wrote that a few times. What's clean them, Verge? Children, 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 pets, purse. That's a good one. Valuables, clean the clean, clean then clean the, clean then clean the. Verge, what do you mean? Lori said phone. Ooh, that's, how can, I'm surprised. Oh, you know what? <laughs> this is probably an uh, older version of the game and phones <laughs> were not prevalent. I don't know. I would have thought phone would totally be on here. Radio, clean them, phone. Hey, Linda. Welcome to our truck and party. Okay, so I don't know. Verge, you got to explain your answer. Okay, we got to play one more time, right? <laughs> and I, I got to start writing down last names. Because, as we learned last time, some of you have the same, last, same first name, which is awesome. But I don't want to confuse people. Okay, so, as you can see, say, see how my red is changing color? Guys, it's drying. So the colors do change a little bit once they dry. Cheryl, I am totally with you on the photo albums as a scrapbooker. If my house burns down or anything like that happens, man, <laughs> those scrapbooks are coming with me. Because, first of all, <clears throat> I have a lot of money invested in them. <laughs> but all those memories that I have spent hours staring at, journaling, reliving every moment of yeah mm -hmm, those scrapbooks are coming with me <laughs> okay so i'm going to just continue why do i have totally different stuff as answers than you read maria i don't know verge i'm not sure what clean them clean them was verge 
what were you cleaning in the basement during a tornado, Virginia? <laughs> All right, so I am, again, just washing out my stuff. Okay, you ready? One more, one more round, right? Let's play. Come on. I just like to play games. <laughs> we could really just play games. But anyways, for those of you who are looking forward to doing some graduation projects, you're, maybe you're having a graduation party or you're going to a graduation party or you're going to a graduation and you are looking for a gift to make someone, this transfer is super nice. It has the hip hip hooray and then it has congrats, high five, grad, the little cap and gown or cap and the diploma. So like here, I could throw a little diploma in the corner or in between, or the little cap in between, which I, maybe we should do that. Maybe we will do that. Then there is the tassel was worth the hassle, which has the cap again, and then the class of, and you can put the year. This one, I did have, somebody came here last year to make this as a graduation present. Um, and for my friend Bobby's daughter. So this is a really cute little sign. So this is another really nice, quick, easy, graduation gift. Okay, you ready? Get those typing fingers ready, this lady. Ooh. <laughs> this <clears throat> should be my husband's question. You ready? Name a downside of owning a fancy sports car. So for those of you who don't know my husband, I'm going to turn my comments off. My husband has a fancy sports car. Well, I call it a fancy sports car. I don't know what he calls it. He, we call it princess. Because the way he babies a silly car is so funny. It's new. Er. We haven't had it very long. And he's dreamed about this car. According to him, he's dreamed about this car his whole life. I don't know if he has or not. But we call her Princess. The other day, Princess got a new pair of shoes. She uh, got new brakes. <laughs> he put them on with a friend of his in his garage. And I kept saying in my head, we spent all this money on this car. And you're going to put the brakes on it. <laughs> My husband has never put brakes on anything in his life. <laughs> well, maybe when he was younger. But they did it, and princess shoes work. She does stop when he presses them, which is good. <laughs> but there, I think the down, my answer to this question would be the amount of harassment you get from your wife about owning a fancy sports car. Okay, so again, I'm just cleaning up my paste. If you are interested in any of these fun products, how do you get them, you ask, right? Because, you know, I can yammer and yammer all about the products, but if you want to make something fun, how the heck do you do it? Well, you would message me or you would go to www.chuckcouture.com slash Maria. You can see everything I use. Everything that I do is right there. Okay, so where's our question? Ready? I'm going to turn my comments back on in just a minute. Name... A downside of owning a fancy sports car. Okay, I'm turning my comments back on. Ready? Ooh, Linda, that is a good answer. She says insurance. Ding, 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 ding. That is the number two answer, Linda. Totally a good answer, Linda. The number two answer is insurance. So Linda is our next winner. Oh, and Linda... Linda Walt, Waltman, is that how you say your last name? If I murder your last name, please spell it out phonetically for me so I can say it right. But I believe it's Waltman. Walt, Waltman? Waltman? Linda Waltman is our fourth winner. Awesome. Okay, so let's see what else you said. Oh, well here, the number one answer was upkeep and repairs. Two was insurance. Three was too small, which my husband's princess, we don't all fit in. We are a family of six. Um, expensive payment, gets stolen, uses a lot of gas. Princess doesn't use a lot of gas because if there's any rain in the forecast, she doesn't leave the garage. She spent the winter in the garage because she couldn't go out in the snow. <laughs> so yeah, she could use a lot of gas, but she doesn't really get driven that much. And people are jealous. Ooh. Okay, so let's see. What do we got here? Kelly loved her chalking I did. Oh, I'm so glad Kelly liked what you made. Verge, that's awesome. Happy Mother's Day to me. Enjoyed the day with my mom. 89 years. Holy cow, Sandy. 89. Good for her. 
Kathy said keeping it clean. Hey, Kathy, welcome to our talking party. Insurance, Jill said, Cheryl said, target for police. You know, I do think that that's the case. Speeding, Cheryl said speeding. Linda said insurance, and Sandy said insurance. I do think that, you know, you got a fancy sports car. Those, well, first of all, when you have a fancy sports car, you tend to speed, right, ladies? Right. <laughs> okay, so. That's, those are our fun games. I think we should put a little cap and gown in the middle of this guy. Or look, I keep saying cap and gown when I really just mean the cap. Because I think if we do that, that could help us tie in the other colors while we are um, still talking. And maybe we could play one more round of the game. Making or shooting someone, arresting someone. Hey, Verge. I, are you, you must have a huge delay, Verge. Because I get it now. Verge, you're answering the other question. You're asking the previous, answering the previous question, Verge. Because what's our first question? Yeah. When you were talking about cleaning them, Verge, that was the grandma's teeth. That was like three questions ago. Verge, you must have a really, really big delay tonight. Okay, so. Wow, I've never had anybody have that much of a delay. That's why her answers don't make any sense. Okay, so now, because we're going to stick this adorable little cap, in be we'll put, maybe we'll put the cap here. And the diploma. It's prob the diploma's probably too big to fit. I mean, we could put it up, up straight up and down. Okay, let's do those. But because we're going to lay our sticky part of our transfer over the uh, part that we've already chalked, you really need to fuzz. Because otherwise what happens is your sticky part just pulls up your um, paste. It, not on, not so much on these boards, but when you use other boards. These boards that, oh, and I pick, look, I took the wrong word up. I'm not using the word grad. Making sure I put it back on the right side of the backer. So this here, I'm gonna put cap. And this one I'm going to put Diploma. Okay. So, we're going to stick our little cap in there. And then this super cute sign. So, did you all have a lovely Mother's Day? It was such a nice day today. The sun was out. It was gorgeous. So, Sandy, 89. Wow, that is amazing. So we're going to stick our cute little cap and gown in here, or cap. We're going to put our cute little cap in here. And we're going to make that blue. I in here, I, cl I closed up all my paste already, but we're going to make that blue. And I'm going to use the multi-purpose tool. This is, which has got fuzzy stuff on it. This is a really nice tool to use uh, because it works like a pencil. And you can just dip it right in and go. And it just works really well. So this is really easy. My feet is totally out of sync with everyone else. Yes, Verge, it is. You, you're totally um, like two questions behind, babe. Okay, so then you just, again, pull it. But you pull it from the middle so that you don't. Um, and then I stick them right in my water bath. Once they're wet, they are no longer sticky. So you can put them right in the water bath on top of each other. And you'll be good. Okay, so now we have our little cap. And now we're going to put our little diploma. And unfortunately, we have to put our... I would like to put our diploma this way. But he doesn't fit in between the letters. So I think we got to go straight up and down. Oh, let's get rid of that. So that's how you find the products, is you go to www.chalkcouture.com slash Maria. So I make a video every day for those of you who are new. Every night at 9 o'clock, usually, 9 o'clock-ish, I try to go live, um, with the exception of the weekends. So, so if I go live on Sundays, which I usually do go live on Sunday, um, but I don't guarantee I'll go live on Sunday. Saturday nights is always iffy. Very, I try not to go live on Saturday nights, um, unless my husband's out of town. But um, he came home early last night, so I didn't end up going live last night. So I do go live every day at 9 p.m. during the week, and we do Make It Monday, 
on Make It Monday, we make a, a little project that you can then go into the Making Maria VIP group and purchase that bundle so that you can make the same exact product project at home. We have a really cute one tomorrow, but I have a super limited number of them. But it's super cute. I can't wait to make it, and it's a really quick one. Um, Tuesday is Target Tuesday, where we typically make something from Target's Bullseye's Playground. If you're not familiar with Target's Bullseye's Playground, it's the little dollar section of Target that when you first walk in to Target, that there's an official name for that, and it's called Bullseye's Playground. We usually make something out of there or something out of the Target store because I live very close to a Target and I spend a lot of time at Target. Um, Wednesdays is Whip It Up Wednesday. We whip a cute little something up quickly. Thursdays is Thankful Thursday. And on Thursdays, we play games and we have fun. And the project that we make, we give away when our Thursday video hits 10 shares. So like last week's video, I think is at seven shares. If that video hits 10 shares before this coming Thursday, so if you haven't gone and shared that video, go share that video, we give the project away that we made that night. Um, and so a lot of times I use retired transfers for that just because there's no other way for you guys to get those projects. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So Thursday is Thankful Thursday where we give a project away. Friday is Fantastic Friday where we tend to use something with a font. Well, and quite honestly, all transfers have fonts. So, <laughs> well, not all, but 99% of the transfers have a font. So we just, it's just a fun name for Friday. So that's kind of our week in how we watch make videos. Um, you can check the products out in the at the website www.talkcouture.com slash make maria or you can go into the making maria vip group the making maria vip group is where we do all kinds of fun things um that's where you'll see bundles you'll see specials we play games we do more of the club couture pro projects in there so if you're not a member of the making maria vip group and you would like to be please um, comment vip and I will send you the link. It's a closed group. All you gotta do is request to join it. Or you can go right to that page and just click on request to join and I will add you to that group. Um, Cause that's a super fun group to be part of. And um, I don't post a ton in there because I don't wanna bombard you between the two sites, um, but I do post in there pretty often. So let's do our cute little, and maybe we'll put him down so he's not doesn't look like a letter. So we're gonna put our cute little diploma in here. Yeah, Verge is answering the questions for the last one. <laughs> Verge, I agree. A phone, pictures, papers, those are all really important. I agree, Verge. Now where did I put my red paste? I put my red paste away already. So we're just going to stick this quick little guy in here. And we are going to um, do our little diploma. So I have a senior who is graduating. Um, and my fifth grade daughter will also tell you she is graduating too because I say I have a child graduating all the time and she's always kicking me underneath the table saying I'm graduating too you don't graduate from fifth grade but she thinks she's graduating um, so it's gonna be a super busy couple weeks here trying to get ready and my littlest is having a birthday which is he's all about <laughs> at dinner we had to have an entire conversation about what he wants for his birthday <laughs> and his list is hysterical like, he wants his own hair gel, so he can stop borrowing his dad's hair gel. <laughs> like, what nine, well, he's going to be nine. What nine-year-old wants hair gel for his birthday? He can't come up with something more entertaining than hair gel. Oh, my goodness. All right, so now we have our cute little cap and gown. Here. Our cute little cap it is not a gown. It is just a cap. And our diploma, which I am going to dry quickly. So I don't stick my finger in it. Okay. And once they're dry, you'll be able to see them better. Okay. So this is our cute little sign for graduation. It says hip hip hooray. I don't know if I like that down there like that. And maybe I should have brought this one down more. Right? I should have maybe maybe done them more here. So that they're more balanced. Right. Okay, let's play one more time. There's seven of you left. Let's play one more time. Yep. Verge, all your answers are off, sweetie. I'm sorry. Your your delay is super big. You should try going out of the video and coming back in, but by the time you've done that, we'll be all done. So, sorry, Verge. We'll play again Thursday, Verge. And we'll play again to give the sign away if that video hits 10. So, go back to Thankful Thursday's sign. 
from last week Thursday and hit share if you haven't shared that video already. All right, so. Oh, this is a good one. Ready? Name a question. I can't show you guys the answers, but my glasses are not working very well today. Name a question a person who's afraid to fly might ask a flight attendant. I'm going to turn my comments off. So name a question a person who's afraid to fly might ask a flight attendant. And while you're doing that, I'm going to continue to clean up and put things away. Um, so we talked about the VIP group. We talked about... Um, Oh, we didn't talk about Club Couture. We'll talk about Club Couture tomorrow. Please share my video. It helps me tremendously when you share my video. And if you are interested in anything, please do not hesitate to go to www.shopcouture.com slash Maria. You can see everything right there. Okay, so I put these cards away so that I know these are cards we played with. So we don't ask the same questions because now you guys all know the answers. Right? Um... And this week, we have some really fun transfers coming up. I think what we're going to do this week is the Flower Market Collection, which is those really pretty new flower ones we got last week Thursday. I think we're going to um, we're gonna spend the week with those transfers, having fun. Okay, so name... Okay, hang on. i got to turn my comments back on in a minute. As soon as I read the question again, I will turn my comments back on, and I will look. Have everything all cleaned up. Where's my question? <laughs> Don't you wonder about me, ladies, really? How can I find anything? Okay, so you ready? You guys got those typing fingers going? Are you ready, ready, ready? I didn't give you very long here, so we're going to give you just a little bit longer. While we do that, please share my video. Oh, or we could talk about Club Couture, I suppose. Club Couture is a monthly subscription where for $19.99 a month, you get three paste packets, which are individual little paste packets. You get three individual paste packets and a B size transfer. This month is Hello Summer with the really cool sunglasses with the pine, the pine trees, palm trees in them. Um, it's a really fun transfer. Okay, you ready? Name a question someone who's afraid to fly might ask a flight attendant. I'm going to turn my comments back on. Okay, ready? Cheryl says, are we landing soon? It's very close to one of the answers. It's pretty close. And... Jill, your answer's not on there. Are we going over water yet? I'm going to give Cheryl the answer just because she's pretty close. So Cheryl's answer is, are we landing soon? And the number one answer is, how long is the flight? That's pretty much the same answer. Jill's answer was, are we going over water, which is not on the list. Um, ooh, Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Welcome to our talking party. So the number one answer was, how long is the flight? And I'm going to give that to Cheryl with the are we landing soon. So Cheryl, ding, ding, Cheryl. Oh, my goodness, Cheryl. You won again. That is fantastic. Okay, the second answer, is the pilot good? <laughs> like, what's she going to say? No. <laughs> oh, my goodness, would you ever say that? The pilot's not any good. No. Mm -mm. But go sit down and put your seatbelt on. <laughs> How is the weather? Are you certified? Don't they have to be? Um, will we crash? She's a psychic, or he. Could, the flight attendant could be a he. Is the plane safe? I think that's a very legitimate question. And what's that bump? That's a really legitimate question. Um, oh, Verge is now answering the question about the car. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Verge is answering the question about the car. I am so sorry, Verge. I don't know why you are in such a huge delay. All right, so those are our fun games tonight. Thank you for playing with me. I love to play games. I love to give stuff away. So thank you, thank you, thank you for playing. I will um, 
Cheryl or Sandy and Linda, you're the only two. I don't know how to get you your prizes. So you need to message me your addresses, and I can either um, uh, mail them or deliver them, or you can pick them up. Now, Sandy, I know you won something a long time ago, Sandy. So I know you're local somewhere. I know I know Linda's local too. So I can um, deliver them. You just gotta let me know where to deliver them, or you can stop by and pick them up. I am in um, Elm Grove, so. I'm very close, Linda, to Michael's. Very close. I could walk to Michael's, Linda. And Sandy, I know you've been here before, so you know where I am. So I've got your prizes, so just let me know when you're coming, or I can um, deliver them to you. Cheryl, I will bring you yours probably tomorrow. I don't think I have much going tomorrow. Um, just let me know, Cheryl, if you're not going to be at work this week, because then I will just drop them off. And Jill, we should probably meet anyway, Jill. So we should meet and uh, do an exchange. Verge, your questions are just delayed. You're like, I don't know why you're so far behind. I apologize, Verge. So thanks, ladies. This is my cute little sign I made for my son's graduation. I'm going to stick that, probably put this right in the middle of the buffet for his graduation on the dining room table with some, you know, foofy things. <laughs> you know, I'm such a foofer. I'm going to put it with some foofy things. <sighs> rambling, rambling, right? Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Oh, Cheryl, you'll be there. Okay, I'll drop them off tomorrow, Cheryl. Have a lovely night. We're going to have a super fun week this week. we got a lot of fun projects. we got all those new transfers, right? So we've got some, i got fresh material. We're going to make some cool stuff. So I hope you all have an amazing rest of your Sunday night. Thanks for watching me. And I'm making Maria, your independent chalk couture designer. Have a good one, ladies. 